What is up? Okay, it is 12.37 a.m. And this is what I did today. So, um, practice 7 to 10.30 pretty much. Um, yeah, so that took a lot of time. And then after we came back, I was very exhausted. So I showered, slept, ate lunch, started working around 1.30 to 2. I read a bit, like 30, 40 minutes before which was really nice. Also rolled out, stretched. So work, work was very machine learning focused. I was just reading some research papers, reading some books, trying to get an overview of machine learning before diving in tomorrow to recommendation algorithms and NLP as a whole and trying to learn the state of the art. I just think it's useful, you know, to have an overview before I don't do well with just jumping into something going high high level and then diving lower I think it's easier and makes more sense if you get a basic understanding and then build your way up and as for that specifics we covered was I was reading Yosha Bengio and Ian Goodfellow's deep learning book that's really good because they're expert researchers in the field so it's good to read those and I read attention is all you need that's a really famous research paper on transformers. So that's quite important to just get a grasp on, especially if you want to do NLP stuff. And this is all just to prepare for A, the competition, but B, more importantly, building out a good application. And of course, it's just good to learn some machine learning because it's fun. Right. Uh, as for life, you know, I think it's interesting. Creativity, I think, doesn't come from. Well, I, I think it comes from different ways than people think. It's more so once you study something very deeply, then you make connections from that to other subjects. And then that's seen as creative because it's your brain and you're making unique connections to your unique experiences. So for example, today I thought about how in NLP, current state-of-the-art machines or models use next word prediction to generate their text chat gpt for example uses next word prediction and a lot of gpt models and bert i'm pretty sure they all use next word prediction if they're a generative model bert i don't think is a general model actually regardless so i was thinking what if you apply that to the stock market right currently all the models are predictive but uses regression or classification but instead what if you use an nlp approach but just change the data set and the way you train it to the stock market. That's kind of cool. Anyways, bye-bye. That's day seven, I think.